Bande ham shri guru shri adha bharakamlam shri guru vaishnavam cha shri rupam sadhvajatam sahagana raganatam vitam tam sadivam sadvaitam savadutam parijana saitam krishna chaitanya devam shri radha krishna paran sahagana lalita shri vishikam vitam cha Om Ajnana Timranda Shya Gyanajana Shalakya Shakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bhishtam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Abhidam Ujjvalam Varatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Pandevishva Gurunsha Divyad Bhagavat Prem Nawi Bijapradam Devam Devya Tanum Suchandavana Nambalar Kache Lanchitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadekabaranam Bhairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Mandetam Shubhanam Mareka Sharanam Nyashi Swarashi Dharam Banshaka Patara Ubyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namanama Namo Mahamananyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya, Namane Gora Tavise Nama. <coughs> so we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Prabhupada. This is Madhya the chapter 16, the Lord's, attempts, the Lord's attempt to go to Vrindavan. Text number 76. Ematasab Vaishnava Gode Chalila Vidyanidis Se Bhatsara Niladri Rohila. Finally, all the Vaishnavas returned to Bengal, but that year Pundarik Vidyanidi remained at Jagannath Puri. Swarup Sahita Tara Hoy Sakya Priti Dui Janai Krishna Katai Ekatra Istiti. Swarup Damodar and Pundarik Vidyanidi had a friendly, intimate relationship. And as far as discussing topics about Krishna, they were situated on the same platform. Gadadar Pandite Teho Puna Mandradila Odana Shastiradine Jatra Jadekila Pundarik Vidyanidi initiated Gadadhar Pandit for the second time. Uh, and on the day of Odana Shasti, Pundarik Vidyanidi saw the festival. At the beginning of winter, there is a ceremony known as the Odana Shasti. This ceremony indicates that from that day forward, a winter covering should be given to Lord Jagannath. That covering is directly purchased from a weaver. According to the Archan Marg, a cloth should first be washed to remove all the starch, and then it can be used to cover the Lord. Pundarik Vidyanidhi saw that the priest neglected to wash the cloth before covering Lord Jagannath. Since he wanted to find some fault in the devotees, he became indignant. Well, Pundarik Vidyanidhi is an advanced devotee. It's not that he's a fault finder. But when cloth is woven, it's often, they often put starch in the, in the threads so that they can be woven more easily. But as it's mentioned here, one is supposed to wash the cloth and not just offer starch cloth to the deity. So when he saw that, Pundarik Vidyanidhi was angry with the Pujari. <coughs> ja- ja- <coughs> Jagannath Paranatata Maduya Basan Dekiyas Sadrina Hoyla Vidyanidirman. When Pundarik saw that Lord Jagannath was given a starch garment, he became a little angry. In this way, his mind was polluted. Say Ratri Jagannath Balai Asiya Dui Balai Chadana Tari Hasya Hasya. That night, the brothers Lord Jagannath and Balram came to Pundarik Vidyanidhi and smiling began to slap him. Gala Fulila Charya Antare Ulas, Bistari Varni Jachin Brindavanadas. Although his cheeks were swollen from the slapping, Pundarik Vidyanidi was very happy within 
This incident has been elaborately described by Thakur Vrindavan Das. Emata Pratyabda Aishe Godera Bhaktigan Prabhu Sangye Raki Kore Chatra Darshan. Every year the devotees of Bengal would come and stay with Mahaprabhu to see the Ratayatra festival. Taramadye JJ Varshe Achaye Vishesh Vishtariya Agetaha Kohiba Nishesh. Whatever happened during those years that is worth noting shall be described later. Ematama Prabhur Chari Vatsara Gela Nakina Jana Ashite Dui Vatsara Lagila. Thus Ma Prabhu passed four years. He spent the first two years on his tour in South India. Okay. Ara Dui Vatsara Chahe Brindavana Jaite Ramananda Hate Prabhu Napare Chalite. The other two years, Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, but he could not leave Jagannath Puri because of Ramananda Roy's tricks. So there's a good timeline. Two years, Mahaprabhu was in South India. He's traveling on foot to all the holy places of South India. Two years. And then for two years, he wants to go to Vrindavan, but Ramananda Roy is, is um, making tricks, like saying, oh, it's too cold now. Uh, no, it's now you should wait till till Kartik, and then when Kartik comes, it's too cold, and now you should wait till, uh, till, till Pancha, Pancha Dol, and Pancham Dol, or not Pancham Dol, till Dol Yatra. And Dol Yatra is the time of, is the time of Gaur Purnima. Uh, Dol Yatra means holy, which is the same time as Gaur Purnima. And it says, wait till then, and then when it comes time up for the Dol Yatra, then Ramananda Roy would say, no, now all the devotees are coming for Ratha Yatra, so now it's not a good time to leave. And this way, two years were passed by. Panchama Vatsari Godera Bhaktiganaila Ratha Deki Narohila Godera Chalila. During the fifth year, the devotees from Bengal came to see the Ratha Yatra festival. After seeing it, they did not stay, but returned to Bengal. Tabe Prabhu Sarvabhoma Ramanandastane Alingana Kori Kohe Madhura Bachane. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu placed a pr proposal before Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya and Ramananda Roy. He, he embraced them and spoke sweet words. Bahuta Kanta Mora Jaiti Brindavan Tomara Hate Duivatsar Nakoelun Gaman. Mahaprabhu said, my desire to go to Vrindavan has very much increased. Because of your tricks, I have not been able to go there for the past two years. Avasya chaliba duhe koraha samati toma duha bina mor nahi anyagati. This time I must go. Will you please give me permission? Save for you too. I have no other resort. Go to deshe hoi mora dui samashrai janani janaviye dui Doyamoy, in Bengal I have two shelters, my mother and the river Ganges, both of them are very merciful. Godadesha Diya Jab Tassabhar, Godadesha Diya Jab Tassabhar Dekiya Tumiduhe Agyadeho Parasana Hoya I shall go to Vrindavan through Bengal and see both my mother and the river Ganges. Now would you too please be now would you too be pleased to give me permission? So Mahaprabhu says he'll go through Bengal. He hasn't been through Bengal for some time, and he'll go to Vrindavan. Uh, in going through Bengal, he'll go he'll go bathe in the in the Ganga and also, it's significant he wants to ask his mother, uh, wants to see his mother because he promised his mother that he would always be in, that he would go to Jagannath Puri rather than Vrindab, and she asked him. So now he's going to tell her uh, that he's going to Vrindab. Shunya Prabhur Bani Mani Micharai Prabhu Sani Ati Hata Kabu Balunoi. When Sarbhavam Bhattacharya and Ramananda Roy heard these words, they began to consider that it was not at all good that they had played so many tricks on the Lord. 
दूहे को है एबे वर्ष चले चलते न रिबा विजय दाश में आए अवश्य चलीबा दे बोथ सेड नाउ दैट द रेनी सीजन इज हियर विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू ट्रैवल इट इज बेटर टू वेट फॉर विजय दाश में बिफोर डिपार्टिंग फॉर वृंदावन सो दैट इज ट्रू दैट ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग द चतुर्मासा व्हिच इज नाउ चतुर्मासा द साधुस वन ट्रैवल दैट टाइम सो They said, "Wait till after Chaturmasya finishes, Vijay Dashami, uh, when uh, Ramachandra is victorious over uh, Ravana in 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 uh, which in what is now Sri uh, Sri Lanka, he defeats Ra- Ravana on the Vijay Dashami day." आनंदे माँ प्रभु भार्ष कायल समाधान विजय दाश में दीने कोरेला पयान माँ प्रभु इज वेरी प्लीज टू दस रिसीव देर परमिशन ही वेट इन टिल द रेनी सीजन पैस्ट एंड वन द डे ऑफ विजय दाश मे अराइव ही डिपार्ट फॉर वृंदावन जगन्नाथ प्रसाद प्रभु जत पाया चील खर रंदन दौर सब संगे लोयला द लॉर्ड कलेक्टेड वट एवर रेमनेंस ऑफ फूड वर लेफ्ट बाय लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ ही ऑल्सो थक रेमनेंस ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स खर ऑइंटमेंट सैंडलवुड एंड रोप्स विद हिम सो ही थक विद हिम जगन्नाथ प्रसाद एंड देन लॉर्ड्स ऑइंटमेंट द cut our cut our ointment is like an eye you know eye blackening in sandalwood and ropes that are used to carry the deities taking that as prashad for the devotees jagannathe agyamage prabhate chalila udiya bhakta gana sange pache chali aila after taking lord jagannath's permission early in the morning ma prabhu departed and all the devotees of varisa began following him उदय भक्त गाने प्रभु जत्न निभारीला निज गान संगे प्रभु भवानी भवानी पुरायला विद ग्रेट केयर चैतन्य मा प्रभु फॉर बे द रिसन डिवोटीज टू फॉलो हिम देन अकंपनीड बाय हिज पर्सनल एसोसिएट्स ही फर्स्ट वेंट टू भवानी पुर वन goes through bhavanipur before reaching a well na- well known place named janka de janka de pur or janaki devi pur okay ramananda aila panche do dolaya chadiya vanina tabahu prasadila pataya after lord jagannath reached bhavanipur ramananda roy re- arrived on his palanquin and vaninath roy uh had a large quantity of prasadam sent to the lord prasad bhojan kore tatai rohila pratakale chali prabhu baba bhuvaneshwaraila after taking prasad mahaprabhu remained there for the night early in the morning he began walking and finally he reached bhuvaneshwar kataka yasiya koila gopala darshan स्वापनेश्वर बीप्र कोयल प्रभो निमंत्रण एफ्टर रीचिंग द सिटी ऑफ कथक ही सॉ द टेम्पल ऑफ गोपाल सक्षी गोपाल एंड अ ब्राह्मण देर नेम स्वापनेश्वर बाई द लोर टू ईट रामानंद राय सब गाने निमंत्रीला बाहिर उद्यानी आशी प्रभु बाश कोयला Ramananda Roy invited all the others for their meals and Mahaprabhu made his resting place in a garden outside the temple. Bika kori bahutale kori la vishram prata parudra tai rai kori la payan while Mahaprabhu was taking rest beneath a bakul tree Ramananda Roy immediately went to Maharaj Prata Parudra because the king ha- king stays in Katak. Shuni Ananda Shuni Anandita Raj Atishigra Ayla Prabhu Deki Dandavat 
Bumete Parila, the king was very happy to hear the news, and he hastily went there upon seeing the Lord. He fell flat to offer him obeisances. Puna Ute Puna Pare Pranai Viva Stutikore Pula Kanga Pare Ashuja. Being overwhelmed with love, the, the king again and again got up and fell down. When he offered prayers, his whole body shivered and tears fell from his eyes. Tarabhakti Deki Prabhu Tushtahoilaman Uti Ma Prabhu Tare Koilalingan. Mahaprabhu was very pleased to see the devotion of the king and he therefore stood up and embraced him. So this, the king first got Mahaprabhu's darshan during Ratha Yatra time. Uh, Mahaprabhu went to a garden after he was fatigued from uh, being, dancing in the Ratha Yatra for a long distance and then was resting in the garden and the king went there just um, dressed, not in his his king clothes, his royal dress, but he went there dressed as a Vaishnav, you know, simple dress. And he read the chapters of the, uh, what's, call, what, what's called the uh, Gopi Gita, that's what it, some people call those chapters of the Srimad Bhagavatam that deal with the Rasa Lila. So he's reading those chapters to Mahaprabhu. And it says, and at that time it says, but Mahaprabhu didn't even know who he was, but he embraced him and says, you've given me so much, what can I give you in exchange? So, and it says, as I said, it says there that Mahaprabhu didn't necessarily know who the king was, but the Lord is omniscient. So even though he didn't know who the king was on, on, on one level, on another level he did. Now, at before Mahaprabhu didn't even want to meet with the king, but after the after he embraced the king, everything seems to have changed because he came to he came to Kadak, and the king came to see him and fell down repeatedly, offering his obeisances to Mahaprabhu. The king is obviously overwhelmed with ecstasy, and Mahaprabhu embraces the king. He didn't say, "Oh, I won't touch a, somebody who's a king." Before he was saying that, but now after that. After embracing him in, in during the Ratha Yatra, now everything has changed. Puna stuti kore raj koraye pranam prabhu kripa ashrute tara deha hoilasnan. When the Lord embraced the king, the king again and again offered prayers and obeisances. In this way, the Lord's mercy brought tears from the king, and the Lord's body was bathed with these tears. Shushta Kore Ramananda Rajare Basila Kaya Manu Bhakti Prabhu Tare Kripa Koila. Finally, Ramananda Roy pacified the king and made him sit down. The Lord bestowed mercy upon him through his body, mind, and words. Aicheta Hare Kripa Koila Gonarai Prata Parudra Sandratata Namahoila Jai. Mahaprabhu showed such mercy to the king that from that day on the Lord became known as Prataparudra Sandrata, the deliverer of Maharaj Prataparudra. Rajaputra Ganakoila Prabhur Bandan, Rajare Vidai Dila Sacheranandan. All the government all the governmental officers also paid their respects to the Lord, and finally the king and his men were bade farewell by uh, the son of Mother Sachi. It says the mother, son of Mother Sachi, but Sachi or Nandan is one name given to Mahaprabhu. Sachi or Nandan or Sachi Nandan. Sachi Nandan, the son of Mother Sachi. Bahiriyase Raja Agya Patra Lekaila Nija Raja Jata Vishayi. Tahare Badaila, the king, then went outside and had orders written down and sent them to the government service, servants within his kingdom. Raja Atra Patulekaila, Nija Raja Jata. And it, it, here, it's, in the translation, it says government service, servants, but they're called Vishayi. In the, in, in, the, in the phrase, 
Vishai refers to those normally who's, who are enjoying material uh, pleasures. They're, they're called Vishai, but here it refers to the government servants. Grami Grami Nutan Avasya Koriva Panchashat Nabya Grihe Samagriye Bariva. His orders read In every village you should construct new residences, and in five to seven new houses you should store all kinds of food. So you should build, make, build uh, places for st storing food while the Lord is traveling through, through Orissa. Apane Prabhuke Loya, wherever he goes, there should be some stock of food ready to serve the Lord. Apane Prabhuke Loya, Tahan Uttariba, Ratri Diba, Betra Haste, Sevaya Rahiba. You should personally take the Lord to, to these newly constructed houses day and night. You should engage in his service with a stick in your hands. Well, you should be very, you should be a very uh, alert to satisfy the Lord. Duima Patra Harichandan Mardaraj Tari Agya Dilaraj Koriya Sarvakai. The king ordered two respectable officers named Harichandan and Mardaraj to do whatever was necessary to carry out these orders. Eknabhyanok Ani Vakahan Naditire Jahan Snana Kore Prabhu Jana Nadit Pare Dahan Stamba Ropana Kora Maha Tirta Kori Nityasnan Kori Vatahan Tahan Jaina Mari. The king also ordered them to maintain a new boat on the banks of the river and wherever Mahaprabhu took his bath to cross. Uh, the king also ordered them to maintain a new boat on the banks of the river, and wherever Mahaprabhu took his bath or crossed to the other side of the river, they should establish a memorial column and make that place a great place of pilgrimage. Indeed, said the king, I shall take my bath there and let me also die there. Chatur Dware Koraha Uttama Navyabhas Ramananda Jahatumi Mahaprabhu Pash. The king continued, at Chaturdwar, please construct new residential quarters. Now, Ramananda, you can return to Mahaprabhu. Sanyate Chalibe Prabhu Nipati Shunila. He says, now, Ramananda Roy, you can return to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sanyate Chalibe Prabhu Nipati Shunila. Hasti Upar Tambugrihe Strigane Chadaila. When the king heard that the Lord was leaving that evening, he immediately made arrangements for some elephants with small tents on their backs to be brought there. Then all the ladies of the palace got on the elephants. Praburaj Shalibara Pate Rahe Sari Haya Sanjate Shalila Prabhu Nijagan Laya. All these ladies went to the road the Lord was taking and remained there in the line. That evening, the Lord departed with his devotees. So all the ladies from the palace are on the backs of elephants and they've got some shelter over them. Uh, Chitrupala says small tents. Chitrupala nari ashi gate koilasnan mahishi sakaladeki Koraye Pranam. When Mahaprabhu went to the bank of the river, to the bank of the river Chitrotpala to take his bath, all the queen, queens and ladies of the palace offered their obeisances to him. Prabhu Darshane Sabe Hoila Primamoy Krishna Krishna Kohem Nitra Ashu Varishoy. Upon seeing the Lord, they all felt themselves overwhelmed with love of God and tears pouring from their eyes. They began to chant the holy names, Krishna, Krishna. Now this is the effect of anyone who, of them seeing, seeing Mahaprabhu there, overwhelmed with prema, Krishna, prema, and they're all chanting Krishna, Krishna. Eknabhyanok 
Emana Kripalu Nahe Shuni Tribhuvane Krishna Prema Hoy Jara Duradarshane. There is no one as merciful uh, as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu within all these three worlds. Simply by seeing him from a distance, one is overwhelmed with love of Godhead. No kate chadiya prabhu hoyna nadi bar jochna bhante rantri chali aila chatur dwar. The Lord then got into a new boat and crossed the river. Walking in the full moonlight, he finally reached the town known as Chaturdvar. Ratriye tata rohi prate snana kritya koila hinakale jagannatha mahaprasanaila. The Lord spent the night there and in the morning took his bath. At that time, remnants of Lord Jagannath's food arrived. Raja Agyaya Padicha Pataya Dine Dine Bahut Prasad Pataya Niya Bahujane. Following the king's orders, the superintendent of the temple sent large quantities of prasadam every day, and it was carried by many persons. Swagana Sahite Prabhu Prasad Angikori. Uttiya Chalila Prabhu Bole Hari Hari. After accepting the prasad, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood up and started to go, chanting the holy names Hari Hari. Ramananda Mardadraj Sri Hari Chandan Sange Seva Kori Chale Eighteen Jan <coughs> Ramananda Roy Mardadraj and Sri Hari Chandan always went with Mahaprabhu and rendered various services. Prabhu Sange Puri Gosai Swarup Gamadar Jagananda Makunda Gobinda Gashishwar Harida Stakurar Pandita Bakreshwar Gobinata Chari Ara Pandita Damodar Ramai Nandai Ara Bahu Bhaktagan Pradana Kohilun Sabar Kekore Ganan Paramananda Puri Swarup Damodar Jagananda Makunda, Govinda, Kashishwar, Haridas Thakur, Barkeshwar Pandit, Gopinath Acharya, Damodar Pandit, Ramai, Nandai, and many other devotees accompanied the Lord. I have mentioned only the chief devotees. No one can describe the, num the total number. Gadadhar Pandit Jabe, Sangete Chalila, Ketra Sanyas Nachadiya, Prabhu Nishedila, when Gadadhar Pandit started to go with the Lord, he was forbidden to come and was asked not to give up the vow of Chitra Sanyas. <clears throat> when one takes Chitra Sanyas, he leaves his household life and goes to a place of pilgrimage devoted to Lord Vishnu. S such places include Purushottama, Jagannath Puri, Navadip Dham, and Mathura Dham. The Chetra Sanyasi lives in these places alone or with his family. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur considers Chetra Sanyas to be the preferable Vanaprastha situation in this age of Kali. Sarvabhom Bharacharya lived in this way and he has been called a Chetra Sanyasi. That is a Sanyasi living in Jagannath Puri. So we'll consider Gadadhar Pandit as a Sanyasi. He's, he's a Chetra Sanyasi. He has a vow never to leave Jagannath Puri. And he also has a vow that he's a ser servant of Totagopinath, the deity. And Pandita Kohe Jahantumi Se Nilachala Chetra Sanyas Mora Jok Rasatala. When he was requested to return to Jagannath Puri, Gadatar Pandit told the Lord, Wherever you are staying is Jagannath Puri. Let my so-called Sanya, Chetra Sanyas go to hell. Now he's, he's, Gadadhar Pandit's determined to travel with Mahaprabhu to Vrindavan. So, Prabhu Kohe Ihakura Gopina Sevan, Pandita Kohe Koti Seva, Tat Paradarshan. When Mahaprabhu asked Gadadhar Pandit, to remain in Jagannath Puri and engage in Gopinath's service, Gadadhar Pandit replied, One renders service to Gopinath a million times simply by seeing your lotus feet. 
प्रभु को है सेवा छदीबे हमारे लगे दोष यह रो है सेवा कर हमारा संतोष माँ प्रभु सर इफ यू अबैंडन हिज सर्विस द सर्विस ऑफ तो तक गोपीनाथ the service of gopinath if you abandon his service it will be my fault it is better that you remain here and render service that will be my satisfaction now when he says remain here uh, just do in in puri he means pandita ko he sab do shamara upar to masangina jaiba jaiba ekeshwar The pandit replied, "Do not worry. All the faults will be on my head. I shall not accompany you, but shall go alone. So you won't have to see me and think that it's your fault that I'm giving up my vows. I'll just travel alone, follow you, but I'm going to Vrindavan." And that's basically what he's saying. I ke dekite jaiba na jaiba tomalagi pratigya seva. Jagadosh Tara Ami Bagi. I shall go to see Sachi Mata, but I shall not go for your sake. I shall be responsible for the abandoning of my vow and service to Gopinath. Be all myself. <coughs> I won't bother you by traveling you, with you, but I'll be responsible uh, for for going, and I'll be responsible for giving up my vow as Chetra Sanyas by leaving Puri, and also. Uh, abandoning my service to Gopinath. Eta boli pandita gosai pritak chalila katakashi prabhu tare sange anaila. Thus, Gadadhar pandit traveled alone. But when they all arrived at Katak, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called him, and he went into the Lord's company. So at Katak, Mahaprabhu called for Gadadhar pandit. Panditera Goranga Prema Bujana Najai Pratigya Sri Krishna Seva Chadila Trina Pray. No one can understand the loving intimacy. In, no one can understand the loving intimacy between Gadadhar Pandit and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gadadhar Pandit gave up his vow and service to Gopinath, just as one gives up a piece of straw. You know, he gave up his vow at Chetra Sanyas and gave up his service to Gopinath. Just to get Mahaprabhu's association, Gadadhar Pandit gave up his life's vow to engage in Gopinath's service. This kind of loving affection can be understood only by very confidential devotees. So ordinarily, no one can understand its purport, because this his vow of Chetra Sanyas and his service to Gopinath meant everything to him. That was his whole life, but still he could give them up to be with Mahaprabhu. Tahara chari tre prabhu antare santosh tara khate dore kohe kore pranoy rosh. Gadadhar Pandit's behavior was very pleasing to Mahaprabhu's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord took his took his hand and spoke to him, displaying the anger of love. Pratigya seva chadi be e tomar udesh se sida hoila chadi aila duradesh. You have abandoned Gopinath's service and broken your vow to live in Puri. All that is now complete because you have come so far. Amara sange rohi chaha banja ne jasuk tomar dui dharma jai amara hoy duk. Your wanting to go with me is just for your own happiness, and this way you're breaking two religious and. Uh, In this way, you are breaking two religious principles, and because of this, I'm very unhappy. Wanting to go with me is simply a desire for your own happiness. In this way, you are breaking two religious principles, and because of this, I am very unhappy. So, what's giving you happiness is giving me unhappiness, is make, giving me pain. So, what is the sense of that? Morasuk chaha jari nila chale chao. Amara sampatta jari arakachuba. 
If you want my happiness, please return to Nilachila. You will simply condemn me if you say any more about this matter. Eta bolima prabhu no kate charila morjita hoya pandita tatai padila. <clears throat> Saying this, Mahaprabhu got into a boat and Gadadhar Pandit immediately fell down unconscious. So Mahaprabhu is telling you, now I'm telling you, go back to go back to Puri and I'm not going to discuss this any further. Your, what's giving you happiness is giving me great unhappiness. So if you're really concerned about me, you have to go back. So, so then Mahaprabhu got in a boat and Pan, Gadadhar Pandit fell down unconscious. Pandite loya jaiti sarvabome agyadila bharacharya kohe uta aiche prabhur lila. Mahaprabhu ordered sarvabome bharacharya to take Gadadhar Pandit back with him. The bharacharya told Gadadhar Pandit, get up, such are the pastimes of Mahaprabhu. This is the Lord's pastimes. You have, you know, Tumijan, Let's see. This is all the Lord's Leela. Tumijan Krishna Dija Pratigya Chadila Bhakta Kripa Vashe Bhishmara Pratigya Rakila. You should know that, that Lord Krishna himself violated his own promises just to keep the promise of Grandfather Bhishma. Svanigamam Apahaya Mat Pratigyam Ritamadi kartum ava pluto ratasta drita rata chanano vyayach chaladgur harir eva hantum evam gato tariya. Intending to make my promise true, Lord Krishna broke his own promise not to give, not to take up a weapon at Kurukshetra with his outer garment falling off. Sri Krishna jumped from his chariot, picked up a wheel, and came running at me to kill me. Indeed, he rushed at me like a lion, going to kill an elephant, and he caused the whole earth to tremble. Lord Krishna promised <clears throat> not to fight in the battle of Kurukshetra or even take up a weapon, but when Bhishma wanted to keep his own promise to break the promise of the Lord, the Lord immediately got down from the chariot, and to make Bhishma's promise true, he picked up a chariot wheel and rushed forward to kill him. There's a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam. So, in order to protect Arjuna, Krishna broke his own promise and rushed it at Bhishma with a chariot wheel, which was considered a weapon. <clears throat> he was going to kill Ar Arjuna with that weapon, but um, then, pardon me, he was going to kill Bhishma with that weapon. Bhishma was going to kill Arjuna. Uh, he was fighting valiantly. He, wanted, he, he had been accused, Bhishma loves Krishna and he loves the Pandavas, but he was accused by Dronacharya that you're not fighting valiantly against them. You know, he, Bhishma's forced to be on the side of Dronacharya by circumstances, but he loves the Pandavas and then Bhishma says to him, you're not fighting very hard against them and for that reason they are getting the upper hand on us and then Bhishma said, I have here five weapons <coughs> and with each weapon I will, each one, I have here five arrows and which each one of these arrows I will kill one of the Pandavas. So you hold these weapons, tomorrow I will get them from you. Then that night, you know, during the, during the day they're fighting, during the night they're not fighting, and Krishna went to the camp of Bij, uh, to the camp of Dronacharya. Is it Dronacharya or Duryodhana? I think it's Duryodhana. It's Duryodhana, right? It's Duryodhana, not Dronacharya. He had given five arrows to Duryodhana, and Duryodhana, of course, is 
He's the one who, the whole war is started more or less by the desire of Duryodhana. But Bhishma Dev gave him five arrows and says, with these arrows tomorrow I will kill the Pandavas, you hold them. And that night Krishna went there and he said to Duryodhana, you remember that you owe me one favor. There was one time when I saved you, now you promised to give me a, whatever favor I asked. And Duryodhana says, yes, I'm prepared to keep that, that favor. And then Krishna says, give me those five arrows. So how did he know that, they, that Duryodhana had the five arrows? And then Duryodhana gave him the five arrows. Although he's a villain, still, he gave those five arrows to Krishna in the morning. Bhishma said, all right, now the battle is going to begin. Give me the five arrows. Duryodhana said, Krishna came last night and took them. So then, Dur then Bhishma said, all right, Krishna made me, by this circumstance, made me break my promise. Now I promise that I will make Krishna break his promise. His promise is he won't pick up any weapons, but I'll fight in such a way tomorrow that if that he has to pick, he has to take weapons, otherwise I will overcome Arjuna. And then he did that, fought so strongly that Arjuna was overcome and begging and saying, save me Krishna. And then Krishna came, he, Krishna came, jump, oh, uh, Krishna jumped down from the chariot and ran at Bhishma. He picked up a chariot wheel that was lying there with another chariot broken. And Krishna rushed him at, at Krishna rushed at Bhishma, who was uh, overcoming uh, Arjuna, and then uh, then Bhishma said, "Now you may kill me. I'm very happy. I've made you break your promise. I'm ready for I'm ready for this, my lord." And then Krishna. Of course, didn't kill Bhishma, but he, he, but Bhishma had made Krishna break his promise. So that was the idea. Krishna made, tricked Duryodhana into making uh, Duryodhana give him the arrows, and that broke the promise of, of Bhishma to use those arrows to fight valiantly against the Pandavas. And so Bhishma made uh, Krishna break his own promise. Intending to make my promise true, Lord Krishna broke his own promise not to take up a weapon at Kurukshetra. With his outer garment falling off, Lord Krishna jumped from his chariot, picked up a wheel, and came running at me to kill me. Indeed, his, he rushed at me like a lion going to kill an elephant, and he caused the whole earth to tremble. Mm, Krishna drifted into Let's see. Ah, so this Gata Utaria is losing, rushed at him and lost his clothing was falling off even he was Emata Prabhu Tomar Vicheda Sahiya, like some, you know, it was cloth that he had wrapped his body with. Okay. Emata Pratu Prabhu Tomar Vicheda Sahiya Tomar Pratigya Raka Koila Jatna Koriya. Similarly, tolerating separation from you. From Gadadhar Pandit Ma, Prabhu has protected your vow with great endeavor. He won't allow you to go any further. You have to go back to your vow of staying in Puri and taking care of Gopina. Emata kohe tare, Prabhoda korila, duijane, shoka kula, nilache, aila. In this way, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya revived Gadadhar Pandit, then both of them very much grief stricken. Return to Jagannath Puri Nilachala. Prabhu Lage Dharma Karma Chade Bhaktagan Bhakta Dharma Hani Prabhu Na Hoi Sahan. All the devotees would abandon all kinds of duties for Mahaprabhu's sake, yet the Lord did not like the devotees giving up 
their promised duties. Primera vivarta iha shune je jan achire milie tare chaitanya charan. All these are the misgivings of living, loving affairs. All these are the misgivings of loving affairs. Whoever listens to these incidents gets the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet very soon. So I'm stopping. I, I really like this uh, translation of Prema Vivarta because it sheds kind of a different little light on the book of Jagadananda Pandit. Yes. Yes, and I was thinking of. Jagannanda Pandit's book, Prima Vivarta. Okay, so. Arguments. Huh? And the sweet arguments. Misgivings of yeah. loving affairs. Okay. All right, so now we'll sing Hari Harai. My everyday starting so late, I have to get more regulated. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Okay, we'll start again. And two sannyasis of, uh, of Shanta Maharaj and Muni Maharaj are coming, they're arriving after midday and they'll be staying with me up there. And then there's two beds there? Yes, two beds there. Pita is coming on Friday, and today, I think, today we also have the arrival of uh, Rasaraj from back east, another Rasaraj, and then we're also, and then we leave uh, Sureshri's daughter, Avi's coming here to stay for a while. Hari Harai Nama Krishna. Actually, uh, her name is Adishwar, I believe. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama. Jana Maya Mara Maya Kesha Maya
Okay, well, <clears throat> is that 